Our next guest is a particle physicist, but he learned his passion for science through a telescope he received as a young boy. Now he has given away more than 150 telescopes. He has developed a remarkable observatory on the top of Burnaby Mountain, Simon Fraser University. It is called the Trottier Observatory and Science Courtyard. Here, many more people are discovering our place in the universe through the wonders of the stars above. Please welcome Howard Trottier. So I also want to thank them for giving me what is really an extraordinary opportunity to come up here tonight. And I want to uh, use my time to try to encourage you to experience the wonders of the natural world on the grandest scales. So these are wonders that have been revealed to us through the science of astronomy. And I want to also invite you uh, to uh, share in those wonders with other people at uh, what I think is a unique public space devoted to science at SFU. So before I get to that, I should tell you a little bit more about myself. I think Sam has given you a pretty good idea. Uh, I'm not a professional astronomer. I have been an amateur astronomer since I was in grade school. And uh, these days, I get to take pictures of the universe, my own pictures. And I do that uh, at my family's uh, retreat in the rural Okanagan. This is a place that we call the cabin in the sky. So I'm an amateur astronomer, but I'm also a professional scientist. And as Sam said, I'm a theoretical particle physicist. So what is that? Very, very loosely think of a Sheldon, the Big Bang Theory, <laughs> except that I'm nowhere near as smart as he is, and I do have better social skills. <laughs> but as, what has always um, uh, energized me the most about my job as a university professor is teaching. And I'm known for doing whatever it takes to get my students involved. So I got a short video to give you an idea of the kinds of ways that I try to do that. So for, for most of my career, I've been a fairly typical uh, university professor. But uh, in 2009, uh, something came along that uh, changed my career and my life. And this thing was called the 2009 International Year of Astronomy. So this was going to be public astronomy on a massive scale. And I wanted desperately for SFU to be a, a part of that. We ended up hosting more than 2,009 kids for the 2009 Year of Astronomy. These are kids that came to SFU on a field trip where they learned about astronomy. We also hosted thousands of people at the evening star parties on the Burnaby campus. And as Sam indicated, we eventually donated 150 of the telescopes that you see here to schools, but also uh, to individual families. So this was an absolutely pell-mell crazy year. And by the end of that year, my, my inner astronomer had really taken over my life. And so one thing led to another. And then uh, last year, SFU opened the Trotsche Observatory and uh, Science Courtyard. Thank you. So before I, I tell you about my, trotch, my, my family's role in this project, I want to say that SFU really made an astonishing commitment to this project by giving it the site that you see here. This location is right next to SFU's uh, iconic academic quadrangle. That's the heart of the Burnaby campus, and it's the centerpiece of Arthur Erickson's award-winning design of the campus. So, for example, thousands of people every day go back and forth along the pedestrian artery that you see back here, which runs alongside the site. So this is a, a very, very public space, and it's a very public statement about the importance of science to society, and it also reflects SFU's uh, commitment to community engagement. So now I'm going to let uh, Global BC uh, TV reporter Ted Chernecki introduce uh, the Trottier part of uh, this story. See what happens here? Right? 
SFU is on a mission to find the next great cluster of star students, and it's doing it through the long lens of a telescope in this brand new science lab. Today, students from nearby Highland Elementary were the first to use it, as SFU announced its latest scientific instrument, the Trottier Observatory, a $4.4 million dome and telescope to be built right on campus. For many years now, SFU has been delivering a program called Science in Action. It's designed to take our knowledge of science and take it into the community to help kids get excited about science and learn about science. The guy running that program is SFU physics teacher Howard Trottier in blue jeans, who happens to have a rich brother. I say what? <laughs> So this part of the story, you know, a big part of our province knew that I have a rich brother, <laughs> which is okay. So back to Ted. A rich brother who made his fortune as the co-founder of Matrox Computer Graphics out of Montreal. He remembers clearly at age 11 how he was inspired to study electronics and now hopes he and his wife can inspire someone else. Through programs like this, one hopes that uh, they're going to get that spark and it's going to last a, a lifetime and maybe even lead to good careers in this field. And people make big discoveries that could be important. So yes, if you want to build a facility like this, it really does help to have a rich brother. <laughs> Thank you. It also happens that uh, my brother, uh, Lauren, uh, my sister-in-law, his wife, Louise, and their two daughters uh, devote a substantial, maybe even the majority part of their philanthropy to furthering uh, science education and public science outreach. Thank you. And they do that because the future of humanity depends on the next generation of scientists. And it also depends on a public that uh, values the fruits of scientific research. So this is really what the observatory and Science Plaza are all about. We want kids to be awed by the universe. And that includes kids of all ages, young and old. And it also most certainly includes SFU students. So our students can use the observatory to have fun. They can use it to do science, such as detecting planets around other stars, amazingly. And they can also use it to do art, as in this image of a distant galaxy taken by an SFU student named Sarah, who is here somewhere tonight. It is a lovely picture. So uh, at night, the site is completely transformed when these lights come on. And the whole thing really comes together best on clear nights when we host what we call starry nights at SFU. So as of all the things that we do, this is free and open to the public. Anybody can come. And our guests, they explore landscape and architectural elements that allude to the science of astronomy and to the beauty of the night sky. And the site encourages discussion, exploration, and discovery. So before I leave you tonight, I want to uh, uh, pay homage to the many very dedicated uh, and passionate volunteers that make all this possible. SFU has an inspiring culture of community uh, engagement, and that includes uh, students, staff, and faculty who all pitch in to make this work. We're also very fortunate to have a partnership with the Regional Astronomy Club. This is a Vancouver chapter of a national organization known as the RASC. Volunteers schlep their very heavy equipment uh, up to the Burnaby campus. They set it all up. They share the views through the telescopes with our guests, and they share their knowledge of the night sky. Our volunteers are what put the party into Star Party. So I want to uh, encourage you to uh, join us for Starry Nights at SFU and share in the wonders of the cosmos with uh, many other uh, passionate stargazers. Thank you.